Now we are going to learn about casting brown wax blanks. The mold has been heated for one hour at 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 degrees centigrade. The wax also is at a temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 degrees centigrade. We have 38 seconds to pour the compound into the mold. We have to overflow the compound in the top. That way we have a meniscus that is formed and also to make sure there are no air bubbles. That is virtually eliminated by using both a preheated mold at 450 and also the wax being the same temperature. This is the metallic soap formula made of aluminum, sodium, stearate, and cerisin wax. We are going to set a timer for 90 minutes. The wax compound has to congeal in a still air uh, for 90 minutes before we can demold the record. That is to take the core out uh, and remove the casting from the mold. We have lubricated the mold with a very light coating uh, rubbed into the surface of the metal of graphite. Now the wax has congealed some. Uh, we still have 40 minutes yet before we demold the blank, uh, this is, shows you that the wax, even though it looks set, is still quite hot and pliable. As you look here, we can see that it is quite elastic at this state. We have set a timer for a total of 90 minutes. It tells us when it is time to remove our blank from the mold. Of course, we're not going to show the video for the full 90 minutes. So uh, we are soon going to be cutting to 90 minutes total at the time of the removal of the mold. We have our extracting... Uh, clamp on top and the mold will be turned upside down. Next step is to remove the base from the mold, which at present is at the top of the mold, although during molding operations it is the bottom of the mold. This longer process is, ensures a higher quality blank than the commercial process used in the 1890s, where a blank not only took about 15 minutes to produce the uh, rough blank, while this process takes almost two hours total time. It's 90 minutes for the wax to set in the mold and another 10 minutes before the mold releases from the outer casing or tube and can then be removed from the tube by a longitudinal movement. So we have placed this mandrel in the center so that the blank will contract onto the wooden core. 
the idea is to reduce the necessity of reaming. So we have our our mold here. It's approximately uh, 10 minutes has elapsed. And we are going to then check to see if the uh, record has contracted in the mold. And as you see, it has. And we have timed it just right so that the record has not bound onto the wooden core. It yet has contracted, but yet is not bound. You notice there's a certain meniscus to the mold or to the casting. A certain meniscus. That tells us that our temperatures were correct. Well, a very light coating of graphite can be seen on the outside and the inside of the blank. Uh, we will be showing you a shaving process soon, so you will be able to see in the shaving and shaping process the blank, which is in another video, that the uh, surface is very nice and shiny and devoid of graphite.